819 iFiber One News Radio. It is uh, Jeff Slecky along with Dr. Alex Apostle here this morning. How you doing? Very good, Jeff. Been nice a while since uh, since I've seen you. We've had some holidays in and out. and yeah. conferences and I, with the board. and yeah. Very busy, man. Uh, what's been going on lately? Well, you know, we're moving ahead, of course, on our efforts uh, to ensure uh, that we're moving in the right direction regarding the bond. Our major tasks within the bond are uh, the reconfiguration and continuing to meet with uh, our committees to make sure that we're moving ahead in the right manner. And then, of course, he, uh, last night uh, we continue our work on the instructional review uh, K-12. Uh, so it, it's an exciting time, but it's going to get more exciting as, as we move forward here. So. Uh, everything looks good in terms of the bond. We're going to put some great information online, uh, pictures of, of how things are going to look uh, in the very near future here. We're going to put it in the newspaper just to let, make sure that the public is aware of what's going on um, all the way through the process. Of course, we have information on our website regarding where we are in terms of the bond, but we're going to increase it. Very increase nice. The communication. Uh, I, this just popped into my head, and it may it may be part of this bond. It may not be. Uh, you were talking about some of the learning uh, aspects of it. We know that everything's going to look beautiful and be brand new. Are there changes uh, that come through this bond process to the way the kids are taught through different uh, learning styles, or is that more a, a, a state school board to come down? Well, issue. You know, that's a great question, Jeff. Uh, of course, the reconfiguration itself is going to change uh, some things, uh, moving from a K-5 to K-4, moving away from the junior high middle school concept to, inter to an intermediate school, uh, and then moving the ninth graders to the high school. It, it's going to cause some change in terms of our instructional delivery process. Right along with that, we've got to make sure that we're preparing our teachers for that transition. So to answer your question, yes, there's wow. going to be some change in respects to everything that we do. Wow. Wow. Uh, we've got uh, a lot of representation for Holiday Magic tonight. The kid's going to be singing and great uh, representation for the Shelton School District. And as They're we great. move into the holiday season, uh, a, a good time for folks to take some time and uh, be back with their friends and family as winter break comes forward. So what's the schedule here? we got two more weeks or so? Or? Well, everybody, of course, is looking forward to uh, that uh, holiday break. People are excited. And the closer we get to the break, which begins on, on Friday the 15th, I believe, uh, they're going to be even more excited. But people have been working very, very hard, and they deserve a break. I, I do want to mention before we get off the air that we had a great event uh with the Choice High School kids that worked at Oyster Fest. Uh, Rick Cause, a uh, local attorney, put it together in, in, in terms of uh, recognizing those kids with a barbecue at, at Moe's, um, Smoking Moe's, and it was a, a great event. Um, the kids deserve that recognition. Very cool, and that is uh, well deserved. They put in a ton of work uh, during Oyster Fest, from the parking to the helping at the groups and organizations very cool well doc it was good to see you good to see you too been and a little we'll bit see you, uh, next friday i like it sounds right. like a plan